Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. I appreciate it. And thank you for coming out and hearing live music. As you know, you don't find it everywhere. So they say in Hawaii, aloha, mahalo. First of all, we have the hippest bass player in jazz. He just had a hip replacement. How about a hand for Larry Holloway? <laughs> We have the happiest drummer in show business, Tim Pleasant. I think he's going to alter his last name to Unpleasant very soon. We'll see. And in jazz music, a, a true bebop percussionist, which, you know, you find a lot of Latin percussion. This is the bebop guy. Work with Dizzy, Thelonious Monk, uh, you name it. Did Blue send you, by the way? No, I'm just an inside joke. <laughs> How about Big Black on percussion? I was doing a concert with uh, Pete Brugelow down in Redondo Beach, and we just had a recording come out with Flaz Johnson, Art Hillary, and Johnny Kirkwood. And, and the guy was with the four freshmen, Bob Flanagan, said, oh, I heard your record. And I said, well, quite an honor, because you guys did it as a ballad, but we're gonna, we did it as a jazz tune. This is a little tune the four freshmen actually made famous. It's called It's a Blue World. Thank you. 
Gee, we're so used to the noisy restaurants. Everybody's talking about, oh, did you see the ball game last night? Thank you guys for being a wonderful audience, you know. But uh, Tim is seeing other audiences on the side, right? So that's that's okay. We'll let it go this time. Anyway, that's called It's a Blue World. And now here's a tune uh, actually written by a jazz composer that um, wrote some several great tunes. I think we're going to do...
applause to a musician is like a steak dinner, so thank you for the ribeye. <laughs> anyway, moving along at a furious pace here, as Barney Kessel used to say. Uh, he was great on the mic. All these, like Big Black, all these great stories Barney had about Lester Young and everybody. So anyway, uh, Eric and Rita are sitting in the back there, and they said to me forever to learn this tune. And it took me forever to learn it, but it's a Kenny Burrell thing called Chitlin's Con Carne. And because of the tune and learning it, uh, they're going to be serving Chitlin's later tonight. So just letting you know.
All righty. That's a fun tune. Uh, here's a tune uh, that uh, I mentioned. Actually, we're doing them kind of close together. I didn't know we'd do it this way, but this is Tad Davern's beautiful ballad. Many people did it, Sarah Vaughn, you name it. And it's called If You Could See Me Now. Thank you. 
Beautiful song. How about these guys doing a great job? Well, it's it's uh, nice to have a, a working group. We've worked together th off and on th for years, and luckily there's always new things popping up. If you check my website or the, the jazz listings, you'll see us uh, a different video. Where is that? <laughs> yeah, eight or ten, yeah. So right now, um, here's a song that has nothing to do with jazz music, so we won't play it. No, no. Here's a, what they call a, a dance tune or a commercial tune. And uh, this has been recorded by many people. We're going to do it in a jazz feel, though. This is called Spanish Eyes.
That's a lot of fun. I think the guy that wrote that is turning over his grave and saying, what did they do to my song? <laughs> you know, it's funny, a lot of the Broadway uh, uh, you know, show writers like Jerome Kern and Richard Rogers. Richard Rogers told uh, Barbara McNair once, don't change one note of my music. And I think Jerome Kern said, don't have it played my song by a jazz band. Oh, because they change it. <laughs> guilty is charged. So speaking of guilty, uh, you know, back to Brazil and the bossa nova stuff, which is great. Uh, this is a tune by a guy named Jobim who wrote The Girl from Ipanema, a lot of tunes, but we're going to do one that has a sad title. It says Triste, but it's a very happy song. So here's Triste and Jobim.
that's a lot of fun. The different beats. Well, right now we're going to go to uh, I'm kind of a one-hit wonder. I work with everybody once. I work with the, all the organ players once. Richard Groove Holmes, Jimmy Smith, and uh, Jack McDuff. And he had a little tune he liked to play called Our Miss Brooks. I had no idea who she was, but he wrote a song for her. So here's Our Miss Brooks.
much fun. What a great audience. My gosh. You got to come to all of our gigs. Well, here's a tune. I mentioned the guy earlier. I wasn't even thinking about our little program. We try to figure out what we're going to play before we come up here. So, oh, gee, what are we going to play? Uh, here's a tune the guy mentioned, Jerome Kern, and he probably didn't want us to play this, but this is kind of a fast. We've got to take one of what they call in jazz upstairs, which means fast. And here's a little tune called Dearly Beloved.
something like that. Well, I think I think we got one more tune and and a and a, a little bit of a chaser, but. Uh, Here's one uh, I just started to play again, another composer that probably didn't want his melody messed with, so we're going to mess with this one too. This is one by George Gershwin. You don't hear it that often, though. It's called Fascinating Rhythm. <laughs> Thank you. 
the time we have to say good night and thank you for coming out and hearing us great audience big black on percussion larry holloway tim pleasant your city doug mcdonald thank you come and see the live jazz around town aloha mahalo Take care. See you soon. Thank you. Great.